It's an absolute work of art, uh, but also engineering, isn't it? But the fact that it got up there, it was launched so successfully, and then it unfolded all those gold discs, and, and it's worked straight away. It's absolutely astonishing, isn't it? Uh, it is astonishing. It's an, it's an enormous technical uh, feat to be able to do that, actually. But it's no coincidence. Uh, when they started in the 1990s, the original budget for the program was $1 billion. Um, it ended up costing $10 billion. So it, it did run over a little bit, and also in terms of time. And it really required not just the amazing talent from NASA, but also ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. So lots and lots of clever engineers, lots and lots of money, and lots and lots of time. Uh, it really took. But, uh, but so far, it's worked flawlessly, and it's just been extraordinary. The James Webb Telescope is composed of 18 mirrors, if you like. You can't launch a big telescope like that uh, as a standalone. So you have to effectively have the, the individual um, mirrors packed, packed together, and then you have to open them up. And, and just that exercise alone, a lot of risk attached to that, but, but they did it. And, and now we're seeing these first amazing images coming, coming down, and it just looks like extraordinary. So we, we're now going to have an opportunity to learn so much more about the origins of the universe, uh, the origin of our lives, why we're here. So the, these key questions that uh, I guess lots of people have been asking themselves when they were kids, you know, how did it all come about? And then also, interesting enough, uh, the name James Webb actually very beautifully combines. James Webb was, was the NASA administrator from 1961 to 68, uh, obviously during the Gemini, Gemini and Mercury and, and Apollo era, a very, very historic area, obviously, for, for NASA when we started walking on the moon. It kind of combines that beauti beautifully, that historic area, but now we're we'll opening up to the next historic area, understanding the deeper uh, meaning of life, the deeper universe here. So uh, I think it's, it's very beautiful, actually, and, and holds enormous potential to our understanding of the universe. Yeah, but it, is there also the possibility, Pair, that we could, we could at some point in the future get a look at a planet and detect gases, emissions, even bits of technology that would... That, that, that would at least suggest that there is some form of life on another world? Uh, yes. I mean, the, we have already, with the uh, pre-James Webb telescopes, been able to detect uh, certain constellations where, theoretically, there are Earth-like conditions. Um, the Earth is very unique in, in, in the grand scheme of things, in the grand galaxies and universe, because you have this unique combination of water, lots of water, good temperatures, not too hot, not too cold, um, and, a, and a nicely protected ozone layer, which we must continue to protect, um, that prevents us uh, from, from being exposed to all this massive radiation that comes from the sun and, and, and the universe. Uh, but there are other planets out there that, that, has, uh, that, that have the same conditions and where you, you could theoretically find life. And being able to peek closer in, get a closer look up on that might actually, uh, you know, get us lucky. And who knows, there, there might be these famous other margins out there or other life out there that, that we have all been talking about for, for a long time. Theoretically, it definitely is a possibility, but we would like to prove it in practice.